The small white card you get after your first COVID shot is not a souvenir. It's an important document, it's something that could become even more important in your day-to-day -day life in the future. Amanda Quintana looked into how to safeguard it and why you might want to avoid doing what many people have already done with it. Amanda? Yes, well, we don't use the card too often right now, but eventually in the future, you could need to show it to get into concerts or into buildings. So it's important to keep it safe if that ends up happening. Requirements for vaccination are sort of happening at sort of larger levels. Uh, so for example, the Buffalo Bills requiring vaccination for fans to attend a game. Colleges and universities around the country are making such announcements. I'm not seeing that so much at the local level. While the World Health Organization and federal government try to work out what a vaccination passport might look like, that card you were given after your shot is your only physical proof. Keep it in a drawer, keep it in the same place, maybe where you keep your passport, uh, your social security card, any other sort of documents you don't want to lose. Right now, you don't need to show that card on a normal day, but epidemiologist Jay Sethi says that could eventually become a requirement to enter some restaurants or even hotels. Well, I think people who run businesses are looking for that precedent to be set at the at the upper levels. Stores like Staples and Office Depot are offering to laminate your card for free, but Sethi recommends you don't do that since you could need to add more to it. In the future, if we are going to be boosting, and that's a big if right now, uh, you'll want that card unlaminated so that a vaccinator can put on there record of your next shot in case you need one. Sethi says treat it like your ID. You wouldn't want to post a picture of that on social media. And if you lost it, you're in luck. Wisconsin keeps lifetime immunization records online where you can look yourself up and get a new one. It takes time to get a replacement. It's also a little bit of a pain. And that's why it's a good idea that when you get your vaccination card, make multiple copies. There are fake vaccination cards being sold online. It is illegal to have one of those. And that's another reason why you don't want to put a picture of yours on social media. It makes it easier for someone to also steal your identity.